has gone. It's Dalton. And today we are playing a game from, you know, like deep within my childhood. Scared the shit out of me when I was about seven years old. We got it on our Windows 97 computer. And it's called Quake. And my neighbor, you know, across the street, I remember was like real good at it. And he would get us far. Because he was like a fearless son of a gun. But without further ado, folks, we are doing an ASMR playthrough of Quake. A scary game and one of the best first person shooters in the world. We're playing on hard mode, folks. You know how it is, folks. But be warned, I am not responsible for Nightmare's head. But it will be very relaxing, hopefully. You know, we'll turn down the game volume. We'll take our time. I won't drill through these monsters that are from hell. Send them back where they came from. We're playing God today in this dang game, folks. Here we go. I'm gonna try not to save it too often. We're gonna show our uh, MLG gaming skills, as they say. Grunt. He never fooled me. You know, they got the grunts right there. Shotgun ammo, thank you very much. You can, you can jump like 90 million feet in this game, and you can run superhuman like faster than Superman when he's seen Lois Lane, you know, undressing through the window or for her apartment hotel room or something. You know, this game is like speed run. You could speed run this game all day. Folks, we're already doing real well. I blowed up all the enemies. You know, it's like a real fast-paced shooter game. It's good for relaxation. You know, I... I said we was gonna take it slow, but it's a little hard to take this game slow, because it's like a real fast-paced game. But, but I'm gonna turn down the game volume. And we're going to have ourselves a relaxing time. Some of you may even be able to sleep to this and study to this, hopefully. If you ain't never played this game, well, you should try it, folks. We got some secret armor back here to jump in the acid. Folks, don't try to jump in this ass without the armor. Because you'll be uh, hurting f real bad. You can, you can, uh, you know, go in this acid with that bio suit. But without it, you're gonna be up to shit creek, folks. Well, more like the acid creek. But I'd say the acid creek is just as bad as the, as the shit creek. You know. If we're comparing both of them, I'd say they're probably as bad as one another. You know, it does my heart bad to be putting down all these dogs. But it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, as they say. And these are hellhounds. You gotta remember all the enemies in this game are here, risen up from hell itself. And they're trying to take us out. But we're too good for them, folks. We got the Chainsaw Ogre. Too quick on our feet for this son of a gun. We need to get the double barrel shotgun. That's one of the best, you know, like uh, guns in the game, folks. Right now I've got the single barrel shotgun. The pump action, if 
if you will, possibly. I am in the market for the double barrel shotgun. Double the fun, double the bullets, double the excitement. You know. Holy crap. I didn't know what I was getting myself into with this game. Well, like trying to play it and like whisper to it. Because I've played games for ASMR before. But not quite fast ones like this one. Let me turn down the volume here, folks. We're turning off the music. We only want the ambient backgrounds and chainsaw sounds for rela relaxation, folks. And there's an ogre, but it ain't like the Shrek variety. The Shrek ogre variety is a calm species. But it's a green-skinned ogre. But these ones we're dealing with in this game. They got the chainsaw arms. Crap, I keep going the wrong way, folks. But that's okay, we're having us a relaxing time here. I believe that's where I came from. I'm getting sidetracked, folks. This is where I just was. That's where I need. Okay, down here, I believe. Yes, folks, go up the elevator. Maybe. No. Here we go. There we are. You know, they got these Egyptian things that they'd like float in the air. Or, I mean, like, they remind me of the mummy or something like that. You know, like, every time I see them, they remind... Crap. They remind me of, like, a... You know, like a mummy, just because it looks like their arms are... Mama, or something like that. I don't know why. And here we got some armor. We're gonna try not to save the game, folks. Try to be a professional Quake player. You know, I've spent many a days playing this game. But I don't really remember, like, the twists and turns. You know, and it gets, uh, like, a lot harder later in the game as well. You know, it's like little Fisher Price car at first, and then you're driving, all of a sudden you're driving a Ferrari without a license, you know. Okay, got the chainsaw, son of a gun, throwing grenades, as if he was made a grenade. Where the hell did he buy all of them? I know he don't got no money. He's an ogre. They don't got no reliable form of income. Holy crap, we're getting ripped apart, folks. Okay, we gotta get our bearings here and uh, heal up a bit. We got some health packs over here. Let's get the hell out of here before we get killed. Okay, you don't gotta kill all the enemies in the game. That's the best part about it. You know. So, right here we've got the rocket launcher. And these zombie sons of guns can only be killed with an explosive device. Which is their, you know, what the hell do you call it? Well, that's the strategy you gotta use. Crap. We 
got killed by a fiend. I forgot they had them on this level. Tell you what, hard mode really throws you for a loop. That ain't no joke. Crap, I'm missing them all over the place. Where's his friend? Somewhere around these parts. Yes. 
Good night, Mr. Zombie. Send me a postcard. But I know they don't got them down there where you're going, folks. Okay. Over here is just like a big old area for chainsaw ogres. Holy crap, this is intense. Crap. Them dang grenades is unforgiving. Just like Clint Eastwood. Crap. Folks, we gotta be careful. Gotta get our bearings about us. And to use a health kit or two. I know there's a bunch of chainsaw guys up there. Crap. Okay, I'm trying to talk as much as I can. Because the game audio ain't very relaxing, folks. But we're sort of like doing an experiment here. To see, you know, if there is ASMR to be had in playing Quake, one of the most nightmarish, fast-paced shooters on the face of the planet, folks. Holy crap, gotta get the hell out of here. Okay. You know, we have maneuvered that animal. We ain't no match for a human, folks. Okay, up here is real scary, folks. We gotta get ready for the nightmare to unfold. For it is unfolding as we speak, folks. Holy crap. Okay, I'm just gonna leave at the front door, please, if you don't mind. Whew, we did it. Now, folks, it has been about 20 minutes, maybe a little less. This game it's like, as soon as you jump in, every level, you know, you're like surrounded by these hellish creatures. We're gonna do a prank here. And that prank crushed those knights beneath us. Chainsaw, son of a gun. Got some armor, that's always nice. Okay, folks. There's a bio suit, and that'll be fit for the acid. But this, you know, I think this is just water or something. Need to get in this frickin' door. We need a blue key, folks. I'd like to take these guys out early if I can. He got frozen. That's a glitch, folks. Write it down. On this day, we seen a, a glitch in the Quake universe. Let me tell you guys a quick story, if you don't mind. But I may need to pause the gameplay. We had a computer guy named Tom who came to our house help us with our computer crap. And it was Tom who installed Quake on our computer when I was growing up. Or like he showed us the game, cause it came on the computer. And we had like a game pad, a controller. But I ain't never figured out how to use that dang game pad. So I always played the game with the mouse and keyboard. But I believe it is a lot easier to use that mouse and keyboard. Got the nice and shining armor. Holy crap, let's get out of here. We're blowing down, folks. Yes, Qu crap. I thought that I was gonna fall down. 
once you figure these, you know, creatures out, you're easy peasy lemon squeezy. You know, we got the ultra nail gun as well now with the nine inch nails. You know, Trent Reznor made the nails. They are no match for the nine inch nails. One of the most rock and rock and roll industrial bands on the face of the earth. The blue key. Don't mind if I do and slip back through here. The fiends have been defeated. Well, I never noticed. In his hand, he's got that launcher, but I never really looked at it. Right when you open the dang door. Folks, I do apologize if this ain't some of your cup of tea. But I suppose by now you haven't made it to this part of the video, if that's the case. You know, we do all kinds of videos on this channel. We ain't never stuck to one formula. You know, variety is the spice of life. And let me just tell you, I'm seasoning my hamburgers right. Okay. And that's a quote from me. These are shooting nine inch nails out of each crap. I'm gonna get hit with another nine inch nail and then it's the curtains, folks. This game is unforgiving, folks. I'm gonna jump through the nine inch nail. Okay, we must tread lightly, folks. We are down to very minimal health, okay? Quitter. 
Losers never win and winners never quit, folks. Unless you're eating like a hot dog competition. Then you're gonna quit. Because you'll wire hurt yourself if you eat too many hot dogs. And I've seen it happen. My Uncle Bill, he did a hot dog competition. And he was eating too many, trying to win, you know, like... I did a hot dog competition, you know, like one of them as well. But I, they weren't the same one he was in. And I did mine just to eat the, the dogs and, and not win nothing. I just wanted a free meal. But Uncle Bill was in it for the long haul. Let me tell the story. Uncle Bill tried to win the competition. But he was like, weren't real fast eating them hot dogs. And so, he ate too many and made himself sick, basically. But he still got a free meal at the end of the day. So, hey, tomato, tomato. Okay, careful, folks. Be real careful. This ain't Fortnite. We can't build a fort. There's nine inch nails flying everywhere which way. And there's knights. But they ain't the knight in shining armor from like Disney's Frozen. They're these ugly sons of bitches. And they're covered in crap and blood and stuff. So instead of being like a real friendly knight, they're dis disgusting weirdos. That you would never let, you know, come to a, your birthday party. Got the Egyptian mummy floating around like some kind of crazy creatures. Nice try, but I'm on a roll, you son of a gun. Okay, we must tread lightly. For we, we must live to fight another day. Rocket launcher kicking some butt. Some serious butt. That thing tried to kill me. I ain't never gonna trust this thing again. It's trying to kill me. See that crap? Everywhere you turn in this game, something's trying to hurt you. It's the most intense game in the world. But I'll tell you something. We're achieving relaxation despite the craziness of this game. Nice try, a fiend. But it is I who came out the victor this time around. Okay, let's... We got a satanic symbol there. We gotta be careful. Anytime you see that, it means there's trouble ahead. Ouch. We got the gold key, we might as 
well just leave this sucker. Oh no, we can't. We got warped. You know, we got warped just like Crash Bandicoot. I believe that, uh... for another video.